Well, hello, ladies, and welcome back to another episode. Well, this is Mindset Monday, and I'm super, super excited to bring to you an episode that I did some time ago. And uh, it's kind of like a little replay. Let's call it a little replay. It's one of the ones that I hold most dear to my heart, one of the few that I hold most dear to my heart, and really does describe the way I feel about gaining confidence and the best way you can gain confidence. In my humble opinion and in my experience, the best way you can gain confidence, there's one way, especially if you're someone who is ready to start using that gift, that talent, or even your life experience that you haven't been sure how to start. You, you're like, you know, a little bit on the fence. Maybe you want to start a side hustle, a business. You're not 100% sure how to do it. You're having all these doubts. I made this episode some time ago and I poured my heart into it because I really do believe, I really do believe that we all have something unique that no one else has. First of all, we're, we're uniquely and wonderfully made. Absolutely. Like there's an episode I did all about that, how we are uniquely, we are wonderfully made. And I spoke a lot about that. So that's number one. But also sometimes, you know, we have something we want to do and we're not sure, you know, we want to do it, but we're not sure when we're going to do it. We have our hesitations for one reason or another. And there is one thing that I have learned in my life in the past couple of years, actually, that have helped me gain confidence like I never have before. So in this episode, I talk about that. All right, ladies. So again, I hope and pray that this episode will encourage not just your faith, but your confidence and will help motivate you to go ahead and get started. And also real quick, I want to tell you that next Monday, there's an episode that again, I share my heart with you, but I also make a very special announcement on next Monday's episode. So stay tuned. That's going to be awesome. I'll give you a hint. It's kind of like uh, season three is around the corner. Let's just put it that way. So I'll give you a little hint there. But next Monday, um, be sure to not miss that episode. All right. Well, for now, enjoy this replay. And I pray it blesses you. Welcome to Driven in Her Purpose. This is a show that brings women together, women who are answering God's calling in their lives every day and living in their purpose with confidence. I started this show with the purpose of bringing together a community of women who are dreaming, doing, and making an impact on the world using their talents, their gifts, and their life experience. I strongly believe that having a supportive and spirit-filled community is instrumental to starting and growing any business. I believe that women need to be united and lift each other up and help each other shine. With God as our guide, we can do anything. So are you ready to join us? Then let's do this together. Welcome back to another episode of Driven in Her Purpose. I'm Rosie Leonore, your host, and I'm so happy that you can join me today on this Mindset Monday. If you're new to my channel or podcast, I want to say a special welcome to you. Each Monday, I bring you mindset tips based on confidence, on things you can do to help you in your journey to dream and do for the glory of God. So today I'm going to talk to the woman who has that idea, but who has been hesitant to get started. To the woman who wants to make a difference, but is not sure how she can do that or who knows how she can but feels very limited. I'm talking to you today because that was me and daily I still have to remind myself that it's okay that I can start again tomorrow that I can push forward that I can do something better that perhaps I didn't do well today next time that I can learn from my mistakes, that I can make a difference despite the weaknesses that I have, which in the end, weaknesses, you can turn to strengths. I truly believe that. I'm also talking to the woman who started but doesn't know what to do next or has lost her confidence or perhaps along the way she allowed time to be an obstacle, lack of time. I can tell you, I can relate to you. 
Whether you are someone who hasn't started yet or someone who has, but put a pause. There's always a way, there's always a way to have a restart every single day. I am in my mid forties. I have a three-year-old toddler. I have a full-time job. I am a teacher, a middle school teacher, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I am a teacher, a middle school teacher. I teach seventh and eighth graders at this time. I do love my job. I love the kids despite the challenges. And trust me, as you can imagine, there are challenges, but there's also a lot of rewards. I come home, I'm tired. In fact, today I'm recording after work. Maybe I look a little tired, but that's okay. Because what's in me is a drive to be here and show up for you. And I'll show up wherever I can. Today, if you're watching by video, I'm once again in my front yard, not in my desk. I just wanted to be outside. I could have been there, but it's such a beautiful day. I thought I have to take advantage of it. And breathing in this fresh air, being so honored to live in such a beautiful uh, state where, where the weather is fantastic. And I don't know where you're watching me from, but I am in the state of Florida, in South Florida. It's, it's awesome. So I have to take advantage of this. This is awesome. I love recording out here. But I come out here and I want to show up for you and I want to inspire you and I want to encourage you because with every challenge that I've had, I've learned something new. With every challenge that I've had, I've gotten myself up and it hasn't been just me. And when I say I have gotten myself up, sure, it was my decision and part of my strength and drive. But most of this is really God and the community I have around me my friends, my sisters who encourage me, things that happen to me that I'm like, where did this come from? Yesterday, I got something encouraging in my mailbox. And I was like, what? <laughs> Apparently, the show is reaching people that I didn't even know, like in states I don't even really think about. And I am just so encouraged. But I have been doing this since last May. And when I started, my recordings were not great and they're still not awesome. They're still not super professional and that's okay because it will get better. I'm showing up for you and that's what's important. I want to share my heart with you. I want to share my experiences with you. I want to share my insight with you. And I believe that my insight is unique and valuable and can help you. My story is unique but just like your story is unique, you have so much to offer to this world. You have so much to offer to other women who need you. They need to hear from you. They need your help. They need your gift. They need your talent. I want to tell you that you're not alone. You're not alone ever, ever, ever. And you are not an imposter. On another episode, I spoke about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome doesn't exist in the kingdom of God. It doesn't, and it shouldn't. You, daughter of the living God, should not have it. And I know that that word goes around, and it's true. I do think that there is something called imposter syndrome. I do believe that there is such a word out there, and it does apply to many people, but not to you, daughter of God, because you're not an imposter. You are an authentic wonderful, beautiful, unique, talented, gifted daughter of God. Like me, I'm like you, you're like me, except with a different talent and gift. You know, it encourages me so much when I find podcasts or YouTube channels that they're just showing up every week for the people who love to hear them. That to me speaks volumes because it's like, they're like sharing my heart. It's taking me time to grow, but it's okay. It's happening, by the way. I didn't realize it until yesterday, the people that I was reaching, amazing. But it's happening. You just have to get started. You know, a lot of people come onto YouTube or podcasts, particularly YouTube, I'll speak here for YouTube, and they share about how they're doing this awesomely and they're getting all this money and they're getting rich and this and that. And then you're like, well, that seems impossible. Their videos look amazing. Their technology is out of this world. That's what I thought at first. 
And I know that my technology is not as great as many of them. That's okay. This is what I can do when I can do it. It's okay. I'm here to show up for you and you can do the same. Consider starting a podcast. And if you're like, you know, I don't really like to speak or I'm not really good with my speech. That's okay. Use your writing skills, write a blog or go online and post things that are encouraging on your social media. There's always a way to reach people, always. And that's how you do it. You show up, you write your blog post, or you start a podcast, or you start a YouTube channel, or you get on social media every week or every other week. And my last episode, my last Mindset Monday, I spoke about uh, consistency and there's different ways you can be consistent and different methods of being consistent it doesn't have to be like how everybody does it go back and watch that video if you want to get a little more insight I encourage you but just show up just get started I'm talking to you my sister the one who hasn't gotten started yet but knows that there is something that you want to offer others that only you can do with the unique gift and talent that God has given you, my sister. Use it. Use it. You know, in the Bible, it talks about how the body of Christ has different, and Corinthians, it talks about the, the body of Christ having different parts. And the eye can't say to the hand, I'm paraphrasing here, the eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you, and vice versa, right? The hand can't say to the feet, I don't need you think of any body part right we we need every single one of our body parts you have something awesome and unique to contribute both and number one to your body to the christians around you whether it's in ministry or uh just volunteering or any other thing any other way you can contribute that's number one but you also have talents and gifts that you can share with people beyond that scope, if that is what God has put on your heart. So I wanna take a moment to encourage you today. Get started if you haven't started. Know that you can do it and only you can offer your unique gift to the world. And if you've started but have taken a pause, think about starting again. Don't be afraid. Get that courage from the living God from our awesome Father in Heaven. You can pray about it. You can seek advice from others. And you know what? If you're not sure what your unique talent is, why not ask other people around you? That helps. It's your own little marketing research. Your marketing research, I call it, right? Ask others who know you. Hey, what do you think I'm good at? So ask people around you if you're not sure. I believe in you. And I wanna encourage you today to believe in yourself because no one believes in you more than our awesome God. And isn't that amazing? Isn't that awesome that he believes in you so much? So I want to end by asking a question to you. What is your God-giving dream? What resonates in your heart to get started? Or what have you paused on that you want to pick up again? Thank you so much for watching and listening today. I hope this episode has encouraged your day and that it will encourage your week. And I will see you next time. Hey, sister, real quick. If you received any encouragement from this podcast, the best way you can thank me is by going over to Apple Podcasts and leaving me a review. The more reviews that are on the podcast, the more women that can be reached so that they can also be encouraged and inspired as they dream and do for the glory of God, just like you. May God bless you and guide you as you pursue and grow your God-given dreams.